Hi, my name is Josh Welton from Brown Dog Welding and April is National Welding Month. I want to tell you about one of the first tools you're going to get as a welder and it's these welding pliers. This version is the Channel Lock 360, uh, 360 pliers uh, made in Pennsylvania. They're probably the best version of the tool you can get and it's something that you'll that you'll you know you'll obtain as a new welder and you'll have it throughout your career until the day you retire. Uh, it's a multi-use tool, and especially with MIG welding, you'll get uh, you'll get a lot of uh, of spatter and buildup, and you just kind of got to keep. This is a MIG torch, and you got to maintain the maintain the nozzle and the consumables, and these pliers help you do that. Uh, depending on the style of the torch, these will either, this is the, the nozzle, and it'll either screw off or it'll slide off. And either way, sometimes it'll get stuck. So the first thing with these pliers is this grooved jaw right here, and it will help you persuade that nozzle to come off. Throughout the welding process, you might get splatter built up or spatter built up on the inside of these nozzles. So you have the needle nose, and they're tapered, and they've got a little edge and that's to clean out the inside of the nozzle. So that's cleaned up. Uh, another consumable is the contact tip right here. Uh, it is something that, that gets replaced and if it gets stuck in there, you have this next jaw, which is smaller and it's, uh, it's got a cool uh, kind of a triangle design there to grip and twist this off. So now you get the contact tip off. Um, if you have to replace the wire, you're gonna have to pull this through and if maybe you don't have enough to grab onto or your fingers are just slick, the ends of these pliers have cross hatching in there so it'll grip the wire to, to pull it through if you have to do that. So we'll put it back together and it's kind of the same thing but in reverse. Now you've got a nice clean nozzle, clean gun, and now we're gonna do some welding and I'll show you uh, another way that you use these. And it's probably the thing you'll do, you'll do most. All right, now when you finish running that bead, uh, when the tip of the wire hits the atmosphere, you're gonna get a little bit of contamination on the end of the wire. And if you go to start a bead, with that like that, you'll get a spatter when it starts. You wanna have a nice, clean, bare metal. So then you use these uh, pliers to just snip the end off. So finally, uh, the, last, the last use of the tool is kind of an obvious one, but it's one that uh, I still think bears mentioning. Always assume everything on your welding bench is hot. I've made the mistake of not doing that many times in my career, and I have a lot of scars and painful memories to show for it. So. Uh, just use the pliers and you can push around the metal or you can pick it up if you got to move it. Um, it's just kind of one of those things that uh, no matter what you're doing, you're going to find a use for it. So it's nice to have them around. These are the Channel Lock 360 pliers, made in America, made in Pennsylvania. It's an heirloom tool. You're going to have it forever. Uh, you can pass it down to your kids when you're done with them. So if you haven't gotten them yet, if you're welding, you're going to want to get a pair of these and uh, you'll be thankful you did. Hey!